Vicky, congratulations uh, on another big win for you. Um, talk about your performance and just how the fight played out, because it, it looked like it might happen pretty easy for you, and then you know he kind of battled back a little bit and made a, a bit of a fight. Talk about how the fight played out and kind of how you felt about your performance. Yeah, you know he's he'll give you a, a heck of a first round. Uh, very explosive, very athletic. So I wanted to you know cook him a little bit, get him on the ground, uh, land him a little bit, suck his energy. Um, and yeah, you know it was, it was cool. He's talking to me. It was nice. I was gonna ask. It did look like he was talking a little trash in there, which is not something we'd expect. What what was he saying in there? Um, I'll tell you this first. I had been, you know, I I you know wanted to play the bad guy a little bit for this. I was like, there's no way you'd be the nice guy with Sage. And uh, you know, I want to talk, maybe get him to engage in me a little bit, and maybe make him step out of his character and you know talk some crap maybe. And he didn't the whole time. I'm like, ah, oh, he's just such a sweet kid, and he's not gonna do it. But it came out in the fight, and you know, we saw the fight went down, and I I think that helped me. And uh. So what he said was, he's, when uh, he stood up out of my guard, he was, like, um, he was like, get up, get up. And he was like standing right over me. I was like, no, why don't you come down? I thought your jitsu was better than mine because he said that in the show. Um, and then I got up. I was like, what, are you tired? He's like, no, I never get tired. Um, I, I got to say, I like Sage with an edge. And then when he, when he, he, you know, he blackened my eye and he, he cut me. Um, and he was like, ooh, that looks good. Like he was, he was talking some crap. I, you know. Uh, I like I, I like I like that I like that he you know came out a little bit. Um, this cut though, I had uh, you know I lied to everyone. I cut this three weeks before the CM Punk fight. I got 21 stitches in this eye. Uh, I, I didn't want to tell anyone that, but uh, yeah, and he opened it right back up. So only I only got only got eight stitches now. Talk about the uh, the call out of Dan Hardy, where that came from. You've uh, kind of you know masterfully handled your career thus far. Where did that one come from? Um, you know. I'm just, I got to punch up. You know what I mean? I want to take out guys who have bigger names than me, who have bit more star power. Big names make nice trophies, and I, I want some nice trophies, you know? So, you know, I call, called out CM Punk, called out Sage. I plan on going down to 155. Uh, making 70s pretty easy. 55 would be tough, but I, I think I'll be the champion there. I, I like the way, you know, Connor went down to 45 and suffered and, went, you know, and made that, and he made himself a champion, made himself a star. You know, I, I, and I think I can do the same thing. I think, I think I'll be the champ at 55 in a couple of years. Mickey, can you talk about just the level of, uh, I guess, satisfaction that you have tonight compared to maybe your first two UFC fights? Is it completely different? Is it comparable? What would you say? I feel, yeah, I feel much more, much better. You know, it was more of a fight. It wasn't a total domination. Um, I, you know, uh, I got my eyes blackened. You know, Sage is a tough kid, and Sage is a UFC caliber guy, you know, uh, He's a step up in competition. So, yeah, I, I feel, you know, I do feel like I accomplished something more. I want you to kind of comment on something you just said because it seems like already, you know, on social media, people are, some people do think that Sage is not UFC caliber, you know. So, to anybody who still thinks that maybe, like, what would you say? Oh, Mickey hasn't beaten a UFC caliber guy yet. That's cool. You know, he, he was 3 and 1 in the UFC. I, you know, I, I can't be concer concerned with other people's opinions. If they think that, that's cool. And then I'm, when I win the next one against another UFC caliber guy, then we'll see what they're saying then. You know, I, that's cool. I'm, I'm, I'm excited to prove people wrong and, you know, show, show what I'm about, show what I can do. Yep. I, I kind of want to follow up on, on, the, on the whole Hardy thing. Um, do, you, do you know something we don't as, a par, uh, as far as his condition and, and if he's cleared to fight? Is, uh, is that... Are you just going based on the fact that he said he wants to come back, or do you have any more intel than that? Um, yeah, I, I did some Googling, and, uh, you know, I, uh, yeah, he said he wants to come back. He, he said he wants to come back, said he wants, you know, uh, he wants a marquee fight. I think he'd look at me and think, oh, that's, that's a nice fight for me. I think maybe he'll, he'll take that bait. Um, but for real, I'm a big fan of his, and it, it'd be an honor to fight him. I, I'd love that, and that's, a, that's another, he's, you know, he's a, bigger UFC star than me. So I, you know, I just, like I said, big names make nice trophies. I want to keep, I'm going to keep punching up. I'm not going to call out some guy that no one knows. You know what I mean? I, I got to say big names. I'm tossing up a Hail Mary. Again, like I did with the CM Punk. If it doesn't happen, that's okay. If it does, that'd be great. I'd, I'd, I'd love that. I'd love to see him back. I'd, lo I'd love to see Dan Hardy come back and fight anyone. I'd definitely like to see him fight me. He didn't tag you on this, but I think he might have been referring to you. I heard. Oh, was he old enough to watch the UFC when I was still fighting? Yeah, I actually, the first UFC I ever went to was him versus GSP for the title in Jersey. That was the first uh, UFC I ever went to. So you remember, <laughs> that's, that's a memory. Yeah, I saw Dan Hardy fight a lot. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah.
the names that you're thinking about if you look at 155 or 170, just because there's a chance that Dan may not be able to get cleared? Um, you know, I know he's had problems getting cleared before, so, you know, because of the heart issue. Yeah, I, I'd like to go down, you know. Um, <clears throat> I, I feel, Like I said, I, I like the way I, – I, I admire the way Connor did that, you know, suffer. And I, I, I want to be the best in a weight class. I think se- I'm a little young in the tooth, 70s steep. Um, I, I, but I think, you know, one, like I said, 155, I, I'll have that belt in a couple years. No names really, man, whoever. I, I want, you know, I want to be – I got into this to be the best in the world. So whoever, you know, whoever. Whoever, whenever, whatever. What do you think as far as, like, the 155 guys? I mean, it's not necessarily to fight, but just kind of like your evaluation of whether it's Connor or Ferguson or Khabib, you know. What do you think of those different guys? They're, they're fantastic. They're wonderful. They're awesome fighters. World class. Some, you know, best in the world. Um, you know, so I, yeah, I, I just, yeah. You know, they're, I think they're all great. Um, and, you know, I think I'd be, I'd be huge for that weight class. And you know, I, I yeah, I just I think I I think I dominate in that weight class. <coughs> Not in Randy. Cool. Well, <coughs> I guess to follow up on the 155. Um, sure. You know, you said you were gonna. You kind of um, made it sound like it was gonna be a difficult cut for you. That you know, you watched Connor suffer down. It's gonna be similar for you. I mean, how confident are you that you can even make it? I think I make it. I do. Um, I just. I just be I just have a strict diet to make seventy. I I'm, I can make seventy standing on my head. Um, you know it's fifteen pounds. I, an ideal spot would be like a sixty, sixty-five. So may, you know if if uh, the UFC doesn't seem to be too keen on doing catch weights, but I'd be extremely open to one. I'd love that. Um, but yeah, I, I think I, I can make it. I can do it. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it.